Hi, and welcome to Click Fix. This video will demonstrate how to show the security table within a ClickView document containing section access to help you troubleshoot section access related issues. This is in reference to a design blog post by Henrik Kronström, shown here. In this screenshot, the authentication table is part of the data model. This video will help clarify these concepts in section access and demonstrate what is mentioned here. The section access statement will be removed and the authorization table will be made visible in the data model. Making selections in the NT name field will visualize the expected results of section access. This is the example application referred to in the post. Currently, the NT name list box is not showing any data. Open up the script editor. Here is the script. It was previously loaded with section access applied, so all of these fields in the authorization table are hidden. First, add slash slash to comment out section access. It turns green. And reload. That's done. Now the NT name field is populated. Control T brings up the table viewer. Here you can see the authorization table in the data model, and the link to the rest of the data model is shown. With NT name displayed like this, you can select the usernames to visualize exactly what data they will have access to when section access is applied to the document. This helps verify that the reductions are occurring as expected. If the data is not reduced in your own document like it was intended, that would indicate that something is wrong with the section access table, or the rest of the data model, or the link in the section application, how the section access table is linking to the section application. I hope this helps with troubleshooting your own section access. If you'd like more information, search for answers using the Unified Search tool on the support portal. It searches across the support knowledge base, click community, click help site, and click YouTube channels. Take advantage of the expertise of peers, product experts, and technical support engineers by asking a question in a Click product forum on Click Community. And don't forget to subscribe to the Support Updates blog. Thanks for watching. Nailed it.